Then came the sportsman's class. Jamie Hollier in the Falcon was off pole, but Tony Malley from second position in the Autobahn Commodore was proving the star of the 20 lap race. Second spot with the big uh, blue oval. Oh, we've got a, uh, a car sliding all over the place. That's car 44, Darren McDonald. The man is fourth in the championship. And he's rather third in the championship. And he's yeah. right in the middle. Oh, oh, had to happen. That's car number three. Neville Blight has copped it big time there. Had nowhere to go, Alan. No, nowhere to go, and you, you, you've got to feel for them because uh, it looks so simple when you see it on the on the television screen. Uh, three, four, five, six cars miss the wreck, and then another one comes and drives straight into it. But there are two major problems. One is remember you're on a very steep bank; you're turning right. You cannot. What you can see out of the front windscreen is just bitumen. Oh, McDonald's car up in flames there. Yeah, all you can see is bitumen. You can't actually see what's around the corner. You have to rely on your radio uh, to tell you what's happening in front, plus other cars are, are taking evasive action. You can be pushed into it. So it looks like it's a pretty silly thing to do, but believe me, uh, nobody wants to be involved in a whack like that. What is the thing to do? Do you just try let's and maintain Let's see what happened. Line? Here we go. So let's see now. We heard the brake squeal first, the squeal of the tyres first, rather. Yeah, it's pushed. McDonald started to have his loose as alan said he's pushed yeah and then it's got loose the tails come right around now he's done all that he can do he's got them all locked up to try and get the speed off just touches the wall that's not so bad but then look where he finishes up in the middle of the racetrack now there's plenty of cars have gone past already that was a near miss that was also bang straight in there's nothing he can do about it he just looks up finally he has vision on the racetrack there's a motor car what what can you do Alan Straight Paul Glazy also was part of that in car 87, you can see right there, but appears to have escaped any, any huge damage. Let's have a look at it again from yet another angle. OK, here we are. So, Alan? Yes, the tail rider, that's his second slide, actually. He's picked it up the first time, overcorrected just a little. Just touched the wall. One, two, three have gone through. Fourth will go through, just missing. A fifth goes past. Then a sixth, fully crossed up, and then seventh, all locked up, nowhere to go, bang. So close, though. I mean, another metre, and Blight would have been round that. He almost had it. Is there anything more Blight could have done, Alan? No, there's nothing more. Uh, all you can do when you see a light, you see something ahead, or the, or the uh, your spotter tells you there's a crash, you've got to get off the power, get on the brakes, but, of course, you can't jump on the brakes. When you're at that sort of angle on a bank, on a banking, if you jump on the brakes, you're going to get into the wall or turn right anyway. So you've got to slow the car down as quickly as you can without losing control. Tony Malley opens a point two of a second gap on that lap with three laps remaining, which indicates that maybe Malley just had that little bit of extra edge and was being, if anything, held up by Hollier. As Smith goes through Hollier in a second position, lap traffic. Hollier went, I think, looking for a way through the lap traffic, and Smith, meantime, just took over second position. Well, this is going to make it interesting as we've got the race down to the chequered flag. The uh, traffic ahead of uh, Malley and also Smith might just hold uh, Smith up enough or Malley up enough for Smith to get by. Here comes the Valvoline car chasing 88, the race leader. Meantime, Hollier drops back even more. So you've got to say that the, uh, the Falcon has a problem. Not too much of a problem. There he is behind him. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it certainly doesn't appear to be a power problem. I think the car's not handling as he likes uh, through the corners and he's just dropping off. OK, the white flag will come out this time round. I was just to indicate one lap remaining. That's 1.83 kilometres of the colder Thunderdome. There it goes. So one lap remaining, just four corners now with which Wayne Smith has to deal to, uh, to try and catch Tony Malley. You'd have to say with the gap between them at the moment that it looks like Malley's choice right now. Yes, uh, all in the bag now, I'd say. Just keep it uh, another two corners to go. There's keep Wayne Smith lurking. Malley's car had a little bit of a drift coming out of turn number two yeah. then. So uh, Smith trying uh, desperately to make up ground. I think he'll settle for second spot. Malley comes out onto the main straight for the last time. And a top result from Tony Malley, who until then was lying 22nd in the championship. It just goes to show how close these cars are. The man lying 22nd in the title can get up and win this race. Wayne Smith was second. Jamie Hollier in third position in the Pitters Sports